All right, it's now time for interactive. Remember, you can catch premium sporting content by downloading the Sportsmax app from the Google Play or the App Store. And we're going to continue our interactive segment today by taking reactions to the West Indies releasing their 15-member squad for the upcoming ICC Men's T20 World Cup. This topic will never get old. Let's take the voice notes. Hey, Sportsmax fan, this is Steve. Um, Maria, Maria and um, Lance. Hi. I think Shamar Joseph should have never named in the squad for no. I hear what happened. Shamar Joseph have never played international one day or international 2020 game. I would have make it out and let him play in the um in the South African tour coming up and see where he's at. That's the best thing for Shamar Joseph right now. He's that um he's in the in the Indian Premier League, he only played one game and the one game he played he two over the gun for almost 30 runs. I don't see Shamar Joseph in the squad. Right now for me, that's my opinion. All right. That's, what, that's my take on it. All right, and I think he has a good argument. He would have, you know, cited different competitions that Shamar Joseph um, took part in. And the thing is, Lance, you know, when I named my squad as well, I have a lot of time for Shamar Joseph. I do think he is an X factor. He got all of us, um, you know, reliving memories of West Indies winning and all of that when he took part in the test match. But I do understand, a part of me understands what the viewer is saying to us. I mean, you can't blame him. Now, Shamar Joseph can take the opportunity at the World Cup and he can light it up for us and then he warrants that place. But I get what he's saying. Yeah, I get it because it's a, it's a risky decision to take yeah. him with no experience in T20 cricket internationally. So it is a risk from that standpoint. Yeah, but, but risks aren't but always bad. That's what I'm, I'm about to make the point now that the captain, the coach Darren Sammy and the selector Des Haynes, they've seen a lot of cricket and both of them have confidence in his bowling ability. No, that is the key, his bowling ability. And uh, that is what they have selected him on. So let's see what happens. But I, I accept that it's risky given the fact that he is he is an unknown quantity in T20 international cricket. Now, one of the advantages is there aren't enough footage for the other teams to, of course, study Shamar Joseph to come with an answer where he's concerned. Yeah. So I think if we're trying to find a positive viewer, that's one for you. Let's take uh, another voice note. Good day. Caesar from Trinidad and Tobago. Hello. What has Shamar Joseph done to warrant his selection? The selectors are once again confusing the supporters. What has he done? Well, he did help us win that test match. Yeah. Well, I, it is obvious that he is suggesting that what the question is, what has he I done in white ball cricket? So, you know, I, I, I addressed it earlier on. I think he has been picked on his bowling ability. And I agree that it's risky because he hasn't played white ball cricket before, but he's a very good bowler. And yeah. they are depending on him to show it in white ball cricket. All right, let's take another voice note. We're trying to get in as much as we Sports can. Max, good evening. Mm. Double bless you here. Hello. I cannot think of anyone there that I can say should not be there or think of anybody who should be there. My hope is that these individuals will give top draw, gold level performance and not allow mind or body to hinder them from doing their best. Yeah? Mm. Yeah, the mind and the body. Double blessed Trini getting yeah. really philosophical with us. <laughs> Do we have more voice notes? I think we do. Producer, sir, do we have more? We may, we may all have different views on who the 15 should be. The 15 have been named. What we have to do now is to go out and support our 15 to the best of our ability. Derek from Trinidad. We have a lot of Trinis on today. Yeah. Um, I agree. We have to rally. It's already been named Lance. Yeah. We can't do anything about it. Yeah, that's right. Let's take another one. This is Leslie from Trinidad Tobago. I am very satisfied with the 15th that pick. In addition, my final 11 
I would exclude Cheese, okay. Sean Joseph, Rutherford, and Shepard. And that will be my final 11. At the end of the day, not a bad 11 and not a bad 15. Congratulations to the management and selectors. Yeah, this so he, he's you, he's going with both left arm spinners, Gurukesh Moti and uh, Akil Hossain. Yeah, he is. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things is what I love about this team that has been named because plenty of times when teams are named Lance, we have a lot of controversy. This is one of the few times that we've sat here and we've gotten more yeses than noes. Yeah. And I think that says a lot. That's something that we should point out because I've been here for five years now. Every time a team is selected, they're ready to fire the coach. They're ready to fire the selectors. We're yeah. firing everybody. Yeah. But this time, it's a bit different. Well, they've been getting good T20 results, and the players have been playing reasonably well. So it was a, it was a difficult team to pick. Agreed. I think that's part of the issue, that it was a difficult team but to pick. But it's an okay problem to have. Yeah, I think so as well. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're looking forward to that. Um, do we do the Real Madrid thing? Do we... All right, so we have time for that, viewers. We're going to take some responses now to Real Madrid winning the La Liga for the 36th time in their history. So let's take this last one for the time we have. Uh, Lee says Carlo is a true winner. Carlo Ancelotti, of course. Hari Krishnan says that this season will surely go down in the history book. So many injuries and so many bad ref calls, yet Don Carlo delivers. I like that name, Lance, Don Carlo. <laughs> and Kosi says it's tough being the best team in the world, but someone has to do it. OK, and Kosi, God Lemex, won the league with Jose Liu and Bellingham as only striker options. Crazy. Don Carlo, that's it for me. That that's the that's the <laughs> word for me today. As a as a Barca fan. I mean that's kind of cool. Don yeah. Don yeah, Carlo, yeah. and he earned it. Yes, yes, yes. He's a, he's a top coach. <laughs> yeah. So as we leave you viewers, remember Concacaf Nations League draw right here on your home of champions. We're trying to get everything just for you on our channel. So keep it locked to Sports Max, and I'll be with you tomorrow. Jam of the air, jam of the